Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to the Empire of Dragonia in Stellaris. Okay, we've decided to go to war once again against the uh, Federation that consists of the Fex Klanga League and the Fex Klanga Allied Systems. Mainly because the Fex Klanga Empire, uh, which is the original empire, they're a star empire, uh, fanatic xenophiles, and spiritualists. These guys are the original uh, Fex Klanga. Um, and our vassal, we have decided to take it upon ourselves to try and reunite the Fex Klanga, finally. Situation and we are starting with the uh, Fex Klanga allied systems. Hostile fleet engaged. Eh, you're just going after a mining station, it's fine. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Go ahead and uh, blockade that world. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Now, oh, going after mining station already. Situation log updated. Uh, a couple more uh, worlds have been terraformed, but I don't have the uh, energy to do anything about that. Situation log updated. So I won't. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Another transport's coming in. Situation log updated. Okay, Ayug fleet is done here. What is the Jurin League doing up here? Oh! Hey! <laughs> President Zidlaxi is synthetic! I was not expecting that. I don't think they had a uh, a takeover. I think that's they probably just uh, are set up to allow uh, um, synthetics rulership rights. Uh, they are at war with uh, well, they're at war with all the same people. Well, that's fun. Okay, uh, I don't want them to take any of this stuff, so let's go ahead and split off a couple of these, split these, and let's go ahead and get them in, and hopefully beat them to the, uh, um, blockading punch. Uh, what do you have? You do have impulse thrusters, but I should have that too, right? Yeah, I do. Okay. Uh, you can... I guess go over here. Hostile fleet engaged. Alright, taking out their frontier outpost up here. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. Okay, you are blockading. Uh, what do we want to do? Well, I guess coming down here would be uh, a good idea. Well, shoot. Well, I'll just pop you out and go uh, blockade that then. Situation log updated. Hostile fleet engaged. 
I think the Juran might be uh, planning to log updated. land troops. Uh, let's see. Let's go take that out. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. Colony drops strike force. Yep, they did indeed have another uh, another frontier outpost Hostile up here. Fleet engaged. We'll go ahead and take care of that. Updated. Eliminate that. I don't think there's much point in uh, fleet going after all the um, log updated. Fleet engaged. the debris out here, though. Let's see. What are you doing down here? Uh, you are going after an allied wormhole portal, so I don't care about that. You, uh, you go have fun with that. Doesn't look like um, these guys down here are doing any attacking. We can take a look at uh, what the Vun Okan Gemini have. Oh, that is a lot of particle lances. Uh, they also have sentient combat computers and warp drives. That is a lot of particle lances. Not looking forward to facing those guys. Hostile fleet engaged. Hostile fleet engaged. Situation log updated. All right, colony drop is done up here. Um, in that case. I guess on the off chance that uh, we can do anything down here, we'll make our way. Situation log updated. Research you are blowing up a uh, science ship. All was good. We've completed the research of sentient AI. Evolving intellects advance science not only as subjects of study, but as researchers themselves. Okay, um, software colony ships, could go for the for focused arc emitters now, phase disruptors, well self-aware colony ships is pretty cheap, it's only 21 months, so we'll go for that. Construction complete. Okay, we can uh, prove a few more things here. Situation log updated. That's about it. That's fine. And Hydrobius has been terraformed into an ocean world. Got the energy to do that. All right, Xeon fleet is done. Um, really, aren't any other? Wait, I don't have anyone there. But I think I will bring uh, these guys down here anyway. There we go. Ayug Fleet, let's pop out you. And come up here. I wonder if you can't uh, bombard when other people are bombarding, or non-allies are bombarding, or something like that, because... Uh, the Juran League is just, like, left. Station under attack. Hmm. 
Go ahead and split off another ship. Go over there. And now... Let's head this way. Hostile fleet engaged. Incoming transmission. Robin's done. What do you want? Star charts? Nope. Eighth Strike Force is going after a mining station. I mean, I guess you can do it as long as you go uh, um, bombard the planet when you're done. That's my stuff. Okay. Governor Kishikun has leveled up. Excellent. Uh, you Situation just go home. Updated. Well, first strike force, I could go have you do something, but Draconis is still producing ships. No, I mean, we've got four of them. Uh, let's see. The Juren League is already down here. But we'll come anyway. Who declared this war anyway? I uh, got 69 war score. I wish I could see what their goals were. Hostile fleet engaged. I mean, I'd like to see if they were like planning to. Uh, um, Where are you going? Well, whatever. Like, I'd like to know if they're planning to um, seed worlds, or if they're liberating, or what. Ah, I wish I could close that out. Search complete. I don't care. Alright, unlocks attachment. Clone commandos. These vat-grown killers are expensive to produce, but the extreme conditioning and training they are subjected to Turn them into very capable soldiers. They are more independent-minded mind than normal clones, and some models have been known to develop eccentric quirks. Uh, army damage plus 25%. Gene banks filter and curate available genomes for deployment in clones. Uh, gene seed purification. Gene warrior army. Genetically enhanced super soldiers. Recruits are typically chosen from the elite of the conventional military forces. These then undergo extensive gene therapy and are made larger, stronger, and faster than their former peers. Uh, morale damage eight, uh, 9 to 18, damage 4.5 to 9. Um, I think the gene warriors are amongst the strongest of the armies. They are considerably stronger than uh, standard armies. Hostile fleet engaged. Not that it matters all that much, but, you know. You're going after a science ship here. Machine Uprising. We have received disturbing news from the Juren League. It looks like their robotic work units have risen up in some kind of mass insurrection. According to preliminary reports, the units have linked together into a massive AI network, and they are now butchering their former Juren masters by the millions. There's a chance that this revolt could spread to the Empire of Dragonia. We should keep a close watch on our own robotic workers. If they even look at us the wrong way. So, yep, it looks like we are getting the uh, robotic uprising uh, endgame crisis. Or late game crisis. Um... I mean, that is not the sound that you guys are supposed to make. Uh, we can't really see into their lands, so I don't know what's what exactly is going on. Uh, oh, is this maybe? Maybe this is it. Incoming transmission. Species, dragon, affiliation, Empire of Dragonia. We have come... When we have finished dealing with the Juren League, we will come for you. Core Directive 0451 is in effect. All sentient organic life forms must be pacified. Resisting units will be euthanized. Uh, this is not good. 
Well, let's see what happens. Uh, you know what? What do we have? We got a science ship that's not doing anything. We got a construction ship that's not doing anything. Well, let's go visit Vega. What's the worst that could happen? Situation log updated. I've not actually had this happen. I'm kind of uh, disappointed that I was not able to get uh, um, to uh, sentient AI and everything uh, before someone else. But yes, when I saw that these guys had uh, um, synthetics, I had a feeling that we were going to be getting this. Uh, you have no synthetics here. That's not your only... That is your only colonizable world. Oh yeah, you do have some synthetics. Man, they're members of the Loyalists faction. AI Revolt. Our intelligence services are receiving whispers from several different sources about some kind of massive AI revolt that has erupted somewhere beyond known space. Robotic workers are are turning against their former masters, and the rebellion seems to be spreading like wildfire across the entire galaxy. We now have reports that it has reached the Tebadoran polity. Keep monitoring the situation. Oh. Uh-oh. Do you guys have robotic workers? I guess almost everyone has robots at this point. They didn't have any on that world. Wow, you guys still have not cleared that? You guys have not been uh, building up very much, have you? This stuff is not very advanced. Nothing seems to be happening yet that's visible. I mean, their droids aren't... don't appear to be doing anything. Oh well. We'll see how this goes. I did see, while that was going on, uh, some shrinkage here. It... let's see... I don't know. I don't know why that's showing up as unidentified empire there. But I do believe that this is where it's starting. Ah. Maybe this is it? Mm, hard to tell. I mean, they're showing up as hostile to me. So yeah, it might be that, uh, it, it could be that that world is in rebellion. Um, not seeing anything down there in the Tebadorans, though. Uh, let's see. Ayug Fleet is uh, done moving. 
Uh, Druin League is already occupying that world. Right, let's go up here then. Hostile fleet engaged. AI revolt. Our intelligence services are receiving whispers from several different sources about some kind of massive AI revolt that has erupted, blah 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 blah. Now, uh, we now have reports that it has reached the Kelnudar sovereignty. Keep monitoring the situation. Yeah, I don't see anything obvious. We'll see what happens when uh, people start getting up into the areas. Uh, let's see. Okay, we can... Actually... Pop you out, go up here. And... Come down there. Well, it looks like you're occupied. Well, only one of you. Okay. Make our way down that way. Where is... Okay. You are going to go through there. That's good. You're still quite a ways off. I'm really curious to see what this... Uh, how this transpires. So I've seen the other endgame crises, crises, but not this one yet. I think it technically is possible to get more than one. I don't think that's going to happen, though. At least to us. Um... Let's just go ahead and blockade that. See if we can beat them. Beat them to it. That's 71% now. says they're Eta aliens, but we can't actually research them. Let's see. I think they're going there. Yep. Alright, let's see what we've got. Neat. I mean, I'm guessing that this is a science ship of some sort. Alien vessel. Well, I don't know. All right, well. I guess I'll just go bombard that, too. All right, you're down here. And we will just bombard that. All right, so we may end up losing these uh, these ships coming up here. Oh. Hmm. What what happened to in Vega? Did the Ikazuri State manage to defeat it? I don't know. That's... weird?
Where was it? It was here, wasn't it? It just... Hmm. It's no longer a colonized world. I don't know. Alright. Uh, well, let's see. Did something happen up here? I am not seeing anything. I am not seeing anything down here. I don't know what happened. I guess we'll find out if we get any more events, but I suppose it's possible that the Ikazuri State uh, did manage to defeat it really fast in the year, um, like, beginning to... Oh, no, no! AI World. Okay. That's... That's new. Node 0155. Jeez, 25. Rocky world covered with artificial structures. A thin atmosphere consists mostly of industrial pollutants. There are strong energy emissions coming from across the entire surface, but no organic life signs. Huh. So this is a completely different class of uh, world. I wonder if when we defeat it, or if we defeat it, yeah, it looks like they might be uh, bombarding it or something like that. Um, so, like, for example, uh, the one of the other two um, Endgame Crises, uh, when they take over a world, they just kill all the people on it, and they leave the worlds as is. Um, but the other one actually infests the world, and... Um, Even when you when you take it back from them, they're they're just gone. Um, they they turn them they turn into barren worlds, which is really crappy. I mean, there is that AI world there, but uh, there wasn't any space, any uh, um, empire borders. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, Robin, let's go have you collect that energy. It's possible that they were defeated. Construction complete. You know what? Let's go survey this. Uh, surface construction queue is done. There's quite a few things to uh, improve there. Uh, I will do that. I think I'll do that in between episodes, though. Um, it is about time to end the episode. We did get the uh, beginning of the late game, the end game crisis. Although something weird happened. I mean, there was uh, a clear, you know, unknown. Uh, Empire here, and we do see that this is showing up as an AI world. Really sucks to lose a size 25 world, whatever it was, uh, if we can't get it back, uh, if it just becomes barren when it's done. But uh, we'll see. I'm going to go ahead and uh, scan that in the, hopefully in the next episode, and we'll see if there, what, what it actually has on it. See you next time, everyone.